What's good, YouTube? Today's video is going to be about three ways to keep your man happy. I wanted to do this video because I get to talk to a lot of women in various stages of relationships. I'm starting to realize that there are a lot of women out there who don't fully understand a woman's responsibility to her man in a relationship. Now, we all know a girl somewhere who gets nothing from her man while putting up with all kind of trifling shit from him. But the type of women I'm referring to right now operate at the opposite end of the spectrum. They never go out of their way to nurture the relationship. They feel like the man is solely responsible for the entertainment, romance, and emotional bond in the relationship. Just like that trophy wife stigma, their high maintenance and low support. So to those women I say this, cooking and fucking aren't the extent of your responsibilities. So if you don't know or haven't been told, here are three ways to keep your man happy. And number one and number two are different, but they go together. Number one is be selfless, and number two is never keep score. Samantha Ebro is doing something amazing for her husband. It's a real labor of love. She took a woodworking class and then decided to build her husband a man cave. She said her and the kids all have spaces in the house that belong to them, but her husband didn't. She was willing to learn a new skill and take up a project that would cost thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours of labor. Hard labor. And he can't even help her with it because he's at work when she's doing this. And she's doing all this just so he can have a place of peace and solace when he gets off of work. She appreciates what he does for their family that much. And by the way, she's vlogging the whole thing. You can check it out on her channel. The link is in my description. There are very few ways he can repay her for this type of gesture. And she doesn't care. She appreciates him that much. She's not keeping score of who's doing more. She's probably not counting how often he makes plans or buys her flowers. She's just loving her husband selflessly. So that begs the question, what have you done for your man lately? Now realistically, I don't expect all you women to put your selfie sticks down and pick up hard hats. But what I do hope is that you take a long look at the things that you bring to the table in your relationship and maybe add a few things that don't benefit you. Girls will be like, I cook for him all the time. Don't you gotta eat too? You were gonna cook anyway. Why not cook for two? With that said, the third thing that you can do to keep your man happy is learn to accept and appreciate his love language. The simple definition for love language is how a person instinctively gives love and recognizes acts of love from their partner. Now there are five different types of love languages. They include words of affirmation or expressing your love verbally. This person says the sweetest things. They always know what to say. They usually tell you how pretty you look every day, how nice you look, how much they love you, blah, 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 blah. The second love language is acts of service. This person usually shows their love by doing favors for the person that they're with or working really hard for the family or providing very well. The third love language is gift giving. This person usually spends money or buys thoughtful gifts, you know, quite often to show that they love you. They always have a surprise for you. The fourth love language is quality time giving. This is expressing your love through undivided and uninterrupted attention. So this type of guy might spend a lot of quality time with you and you always have his attention. And the fifth and final love language is physical touch. This person may like to hold hands or cuddle or have a lot of sex, but getting physical is the way that this person expresses their love. So I don't have time to break it all down. Maybe that's another video. But the point is to find out how your man expresses love and learn to appreciate it openly. Your man may not buy you flowers or anything for that matter, but he may touch you a lot. He may like to cuddle, he may make love to you passionately and let you come first. You'd be surprised how many men aren't doing that. Or maybe he's not the most cuddly guy but he gives you all the time and attention that you could ask for. You never have to wonder where he is because he's right there with you. Or maybe he always says the sweetest things. Or maybe he buys you shit all the time or works really hard to better you and the family. He may be really reliable and responsible, but however a man expresses love, he needs to know that you appreciate it and that his love is enough for you. Now, if you find that the way you receive love and the way he gives love don't match up, 
It's okay to want more or different from him, but it's not okay to ignore or disregard how he expresses his love just because it's the thing that you don't prefer. A lot of y'all women out there got your man feeling rejected and unappreciated. And we hear so much about when a woman's fed up, but I got news for you ladies. Men get fed up with shit too. If you don't appreciate him, it's a woman out there who will appreciate him and vice versa. If you watch a bunch of tick flicks, you may start looking at your man sideways because he never makes plans or buys you flowers like those guys in the movies do. But if you have a hard working man who works two jobs or one really hard job and he doesn't cheat and he always comes home on time and he treats you right, learn to appreciate what he does do and stop comparing him to other guys, especially make believe guys. If he's working all day, why don't you make the plans if you want to go somewhere? Whatever it is, just make sure you're doing your part. Besides, I know a few guys who buy their wives and women flowers and also occasionally beat them. I know other men who spend a lot of money, get a lot of gifts, say the right things, and are really romantic. They also fuck other women. They're always getting caught cheating. So my point is, the grass isn't always greener. Learn to appreciate what you have, especially if you got a good man. If your man treats you with respect, he honors you, and he loves you in the way that he knows how, take the win and be good to him. That's all I got for now. Write me at Kevick Talks Guys with Girls at gmail.com. If you haven't seen my bad dating advice video, please go watch it. Check out Samantha Ebro's channel. Link is in the description. I'll get with y'all later.